Hello, in this video we're going to highlight some rules for if condition. The first rule is you should avoid using single line condition and always use braces. So for example, if I'm trying to check a condition for my x acceleration and I want to check if this one is less than 100, then I'm going to print something. You should not do it this way, you should not put the printf at the same line as the if condition and um, put axle is inactive for example this is not the correct way to do it alternatively the better way to do this or the correct way to do this is to always open new braces for the if condition and put any code related to the if um, condition match inside the braces so now this it's going to be the correct way to do it. So if x acceleration is less than 100, we're gonna print this one in this particular way. And there are some good reasons for doing it this way. Okay, now the second rule is, if I'm gonna check multiple conditions, then I need to put brackets around them. So I'm gonna put brackets around the first uh, condition operation. And let's say now I wanna also check for my uh, y acceleration. Second rule states that I need to surround them with brackets um, to avoid any problems related to Boolean uh, operation uh, priorities or anything like that. So I want to check a condition with my y acceleration too. If this one is less than 80, I want to do the same. So I've got multiple conditions. I have to surround them with brackets and then put my uh, common condition. So this is rule number two. Now the third rule is, if we have equality uh, condition, we need to put the constant first. So for example, let's say that I have a Boolean variable that store is light on, and that's equal to true, for instance. And if I have a, a, an F condition to check if this variable is equal to true or anything, uh, well, it doesn't have to be Boolean, it can be just numbers. Uh, if this one is equal to true, I want to do something like print to the terminal that the light is on. Now, this is correct. There is nothing wrong with doing it this way. Uh, however, there is a much better and safer way to do it, and that's to put the constant first. So that's to put if true is equal equal is light on variable. Um, and the reason for doing it this way, uh, uh, there is a very good safety reason for putting it this way, and that's if you accidentally missed one of the equal signs, now compiler will throw an error and it's going to catch that you're trying to assign to a constant and that cannot happen. So you can catch those mistakes on compilation time. So let's give that a go. Now this is the correct way, and uh, if I build this is going to build successfully, so that's okay. Now, let's say that I missed one of the double equal signs and try to build again. Well, now compiler caught that error for me, so that's amazing. Uh, this one can catch error on compile time and can save me efforts later on. However, if we put it the other way around, where the variable comes first, then this is just a normal assignment, and that's okay uh, if you miss the equal sign probably compiler will just throw a warning exactly and people many times will simply ignore warnings and not catch them uh, but an error is uh, it's going to force you to look back at it and fix it so that's basically all the rules associated with the if conditions that i wanted to highlight in this video and i hope you find it useful thank you